Um, so, so where are we again? You know, uh, this is where are we I in the project, should, uh, and and where we are right now. Where we are physically is once again uh, from our last Twitter conversation, and uh, we are back at my parents' home, and I had to shoot into the New York area for a couple of days. You know, I think a lot of them are, are completely new. Maybe they're car centric, car passionate people, but you know, maybe previously they didn't have, let's say, a direct relationship or the ability to interact with, with such a project and I think that's what's so interesting about you know our decision to do this and, and to use these new medium we want to rebuild the name of this company and obviously uh, you know, I really like the idea of pulling back the curtain at Oz you know uh, of course it's a little bit of a strip tease I mean you want to do it slowly but surely I know everybody's hounding me for photos of the actual car and that's that's not going to happen uh, <laughs> not until it has to as you guys see the, the next videos that come, you'll also see my team is really young, and it's really a changing of the guard. I mean, Marajan Bertone is 42 years old, I'm 35 years old, and the rest of my, you know, top-level guys are between 30 and 33, so, you know, we're excited that, let's say, the powers that be said, hey, look, you know, you guys know what you're doing, do it, and you have your fingertips on, on the new media, the new mediums, uh, etc., technology, you know, how do we communicate to the people? I mean... You know, at the end of the day, you know, things happen so fast today. And, you know, if you don't stop and look around, you just might miss it, as, as Ferris Bueller once said. Uh, very different. I mean, the car, the car design world is very secretive. It's very insular. And that's a good thing, obviously, from a, from a certain respect, because obviously the planning of products and, and uh, the, what goes into it and the manpower and the hours and the money and the investments is, is mega. Uh, so, of course, you know, one has to keep everything very uh, close to heart, uh, tightly locked down. Because, you know, listen, it's the first question people always ask. Like, what's, what does it really take to design a car? You know, because it's not just about throw, throwing five lines on a piece of paper. I mean, that's the idea. But the amount of man hours and the engineering and the development of the car is, is gigantic. But um, Everybody on Twitter, pretty much if they retweet something, uh, a video or a picture or whatever, they... They actually are promised uh, a print with your, you know, signature on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. I'm going to probably have to do a lot of signing because it seems like it's really blowing up on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. So what do you have to say to, to, to prepare these fans of yours of what the car, you know, is going to look like and uh, what, what do you feel their reaction is going to be? It's all about creating something that's really honest. So... So the shape, you know, has to has to be honest. And I think, what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean for your viewing public, your listening public? That means that the, the shape itself, you know, has to have a function. It has to be, uh, you know, it really has to be draped over the mechanicals in a way that at once is uh, maximizing, you know, what what the actual mechanical layout, what, we, what I like to call the bones of the car, uh, are, and at the same time creating a really unique visual statement but that visual statement can't be unique for the sake of being unique it needs to come out of function you know I, you know it's really more like race car design at the end of the day uh, you know you look at a modern f1 car and it looks exceptionally sculptural and there's all these really strange angled winglets going in every direction and that's because they you know they, they run simulations 24 hours a day on every particle of air you know every single particle of air moving around the car and everywhere they can catch air and redirect it and and make it work for them you know that's where these forms come from and so you know the philosophy of, of sports car design for me should really be the same way in the sense that you need to create a form that of course expresses you know some romance some passion uh, speed, dynamicism, you know, at the same time, a solid feeling. Uh, but that being said, you know, it should really truly be functional. And so I think people will be surprised in the end. I think, I think it'll work. I hope it works.